Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and making some really good trades and yep, let's just get into it and yeah, a moment of silence for everyone that's been holding FTT or the FTX token. Very, very sad indeed. Unfortunately, it happens. There are scammers and there are big, big scammers <laughs> like Sam Bankman Freed. Obviously, this could have been avoided with obviously a little bit more regulation, but the only way the SEC and the Fed and anybody, the government is going to make excuses to regulate FTX or sorry, bring in more regulation into the space, they need these they need retail to lose an insurmountable amount of money and then they need to come in and say oh you can't buy this you can't buy that you're not smart enough again obviously that's kind of like the free market i always tell people to keep your funds off exchanges obviously if you sign up for bitget trading like i always advertise here and there on my on my youtube channel i always say only put what you what you can afford to lose on the exchange because you never know what can happen right and that's exactly what's happening to ftx now all these people that have all their money on ftx trading aren't able to withdraw and you can see that it's plummeting right now still even down from today was another 70 percent move down from five dollars all the way down to 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 two dollars that was actually another 61 percent move down and you know tomorrow is a new day we're probably gonna get another you know 50 40 percent move down and again this these these crypto coins they don't stop at a penny and go to zero they go into tiny little decimals on and on and on until it gets to like a fraction of one 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 billionth of a penny <laughs> and only then will it be del delisted but yeah overall a very sad day in this market but again let's take a look at what's going on in the rest of the market let's take a look uh, the s p down today more than two percent the nasdaq again down more than two percent as well almost two and a half percent actually and the dxy surging a little bit we actually got a big pullback in oil which benefited one of our trades very nicely in the discord so if you guys want to join and avoid losses and make some great gains you guys can actually join the discord let me actually pull this in right here because we actually made a very nice trade recently and I'll just pull this in right here to show you guys. There you go. You guys can take a look at the Discord quick. Oh, there we go. We guys can take a look at the Discord quickly. And you guys can see a nice 43% win. Again, today I entered this in. Obviously, we got stopped out. Full disclosure, I'm going to be posting all these trades on my profit loss history. We got stopped out, right? We entered in at 15,800. BTC trade stop loss hit and I said these trades are extremely risky right now given high volatility if you think you can handle it you can enter in the, in, in, into the next one and guess what the next one 15,600 we enter and then boom we close this one beautiful 43.86% gain if you guys want to see these trades if you guys are in the discord because I'm getting a lot of messages now from new members where do I see these trades where do I get in you guys just have to go to crypto trades right here and you guys can get in on the trades and right here, same thing as well. You guys can see the spot trades. We've been closing out nice spot trades. Again, these trades don't have leverage, but we were short, right? We we're shorting Dogecoin, shorting Matic, shorting Solana, shorting Aave, shorting FTT. Again, this one I closed off early because I do like to pay myself. We entered in our short at 22, closed at 17. Obviously, there's still some people holding. They're up like 99%, 98%. Obviously, you got to re-enter your short to make more money. Right at lower levels but uh, overall they are doing amazing on their trades. so congratulations to you guys who are following the trades you guys are just banging out money every single day now let's keep going let's take a look at bitcoin on the daily time frame on market cipher we can see we took a big dip towards the downside here we have a 19 yes on today's candle today the new candle right now a 13 and a minus four but overall looking very bearish we can even see the weekly candle has now turned bearish as well a 12 with a red dot and the minus one so very 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 bearish right now indeed especially with the current events that are happening in the market but 
let's get ready because tomorrow is going is going to be a new day and we we actually have the cpi coming out tomorrow at 8 30 p.m so let me just pull this up quickly actually didn't prepare this <laughs> but it's okay we'll do it live no problem let's take a look at the forex factory calendar and we can take a look at tomorrow again we got that suit that cpi tomorrow at 8 30 p.m sorry a.m <laughs> not p.m and it's expected to be 7.9 percent again if this comes in hotter than expected then you can expect an epic sell-off in the markets because the markets are right now pricing in a lower cpi and if it were to come in hotter this would be the perfect storm for bitcoin for bitcoin to go down to potentially even lower levels than what everyone's thinking again so many people are thinking this is the bottom this is it we're going up right even me even i was taking a look at potentially a little bit higher levels obviously we took our profits and we weren't caught during this entire mess right here so there was no problem there but overall i was still looking at 22,400 but again being in cash and you know saving your money and just just watching the market and not being all in on bitcoin for the long run obviously i do have long-term positions for bitcoin that i probably won't sell but again i've gotten them in at great prices obviously way lower than this but overall you just want to be smart with it and when you're making trades set your stop loss so if you were able to set your stop loss accordingly you wouldn't you didn't catch this whole heap of a mess right here but overall yeah we didn't hit that 22,400 target and we rolled over and we made a new low on bitcoin now where is bitcoin going to go now how low will it go let's take a look again Let's take a look right here let's zoom out again i think i have the there we go this one this is the chart i'm looking at we have our next target which is basically because we just punched through the 300 weekly right here the 400 weekly right here is at 13,670 right now or if you guys want the exact number it's right on the left side here 13,596 that's going to be my next major target for bitcoin after that if we breach this level then i would be taking a look at potentially 10,000 954 but if we get a higher cpi you can bet your ass that we are going to be headed towards this level and potentially even lower than that and again we could take a look at some green vector candles right here on the weekly time frame we still have one to be recovered here at 13,776. also coming in line with some of the weekly moving averages right here right the 400 weekly is right there. You got your green vector right there. That's two areas of confluence. You got a potential target right here for Bitcoin in the short term. And again, we can have another one down all the way down here to 5,362. It goes as low as 4,000, but I'm not even sure if we're going to recover that one, but we're going to have to see what happens. We're going to be patient. We're going to be smart and we're going to wait and be patient. And we can actually take a look at the daily time frame too. See if we have a stopping volume candle. Yeah, we got a stopping volume candle. Again, these vector candles can be recovered. We could easily have a massive pump back up towards the upside to 20,500. If the CPI comes in lower than expected, you can bet your ass also we're going to get a massive rally in the markets, right? Again, I am prepared for either scenario. We are traders. If you guys want to make money, Every single day, you guys can join the Discord with the link in the description. And again, I have fully integrated now the option trades on the Google Sheet and in the, on my website as well. So you guys can see how much money we're making on our trades for our option trades, our stock trades, our crypto trades, and our non leveraged crypto trades. So everything is posted for you guys. Full disclosure, everything is there. Again, none of this is financial advice, but take it as you will. Gold getting a bit of a pause day today, very relaxed, nothing too crazy. Same thing for silver, got rejected right here from this resistance box around $21.45. But overall, very bullish on commodities. If the CPI is hotter, however, tomorrow, I expect the indices to sell off. I expect commodities to go down. I expect uh, all, almost everything to go down, except for potentially the DXY will rise and the us dollar will rise as well now people are probably asking how how does that make sense how why would why would the the dollar strengthen if the if the cpi is higher well the market will price this in in advance because if the dxy comes in hotter then the fed will ultimately raise rates higher and higher rates means the dollar strengthening as well 
And if the rates are going higher, then the bond market is going to increase their yields as well. And the prices of bond yields will surge. The price of the, sorry, the bond prices are going to fall as they have an inverse correlation as well. You can see that the 20 year right now, I think of the 20, of the 20 year, no, this is just the, the yields. We can actually take a look at the 20 year prices of the bonds, the 20 year bond is actually at an all time record low. I think we had a big wick down here to $80, but overall we are just bottoming out right now. A potential bullish divergence right here. Actually, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really call this a bullish divergence to be honest, because we did make a low around 83. So I actually wouldn't call this a bullish divergence. I would just call it a, a bit of a bottom, a potential W bottom, but we could easily roll over tomorrow if the CPI numbers come in hotter. But again, we're gonna have to see what happens. Again, October oil was a little bit higher. Food inflation was also a little bit higher. So we're, we're, we're gonna see what the Fed numbers are gonna be. So be ready, be smart, play it safe. And again, we are in a bear market. And the good thing about bear markets is that it roots out the scams by force. And we can see that FTT got rooted out or FTX, whatever you want to call it, got rooted out today as a huge scam or actually I should say the last couple of days we got rooted out by, by, by like, you know, they're basically a very big scam. They really had no net worth. They were holding all their tokens on their balance sheet as their, as their, as their assets. And once the price fall, fell, basically their assets disappeared as well. And today they just filed for bankruptcy. Lots of investors losing money there. Very sad day indeed. But if you guys want to join the Discord, links in the description. All right, guys, you have a wonderful night. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 8.30. Be smart, be safe, and you know we're going to make some money. Love you guys. Peace.